Falling on your feet, do you finally see what you're missing? Hi guys, so welcome to my vacation haul. You know that every year I do this kind of hauls. Usually I accumulate my birthday, which happens in July, with my vacation, which usually we take around that period of time. I have a very, very big haul. I also have some products that I purchased prior vacation. I will probably split this video in two parts. If I see that it's too long, I'm going to start with products that I purchased from Romania. The only makeup product that I purchased and I showed you in the try on video. I, uh, by the way, I have just recorded a video with some of the products that I have purchased but the only makeup product that I got it is this uh, Milani eyeshadow primer I found a Milani store in uh, Yash we visit um, Yash city in Romania and I bought this I wanted also to purchase their uh, cream bronzer but they didn't have it and the concealer and other stuff that I wanted to purchase it was out of stock in my shade so I was a little bit disappointed but I at least got one product that I know that it was working for me, the eyeshadow primer. However, I haven't yet tested it out because I have other eyeshadow primers to use. Jewelry, I received from my mother-in-law a ton. She got me this golden plated bracelet. And then I got those two bracelets that I have on. Those are from silver. You have here um, like an eye. And this is with uh, dolphins. I also got this necklace that has the infinite sign. Together with the brace bracelet, even though the bracelet has different pattern. This is the tree of life, I believe. Uh, also, I got those earrings. They close in the back side. And also this. Those earrings are even good for my daughter. They are dainty and I have been wearing them a lot in uh, vacation. I was testing them to see if they open or not because I might pass them to her because I got her those one with a unicorn. It's a unicorn head but unfortunately they open. And the last bracelet that I got from uh, Romania is this one. You have a sapphire stone and I love the fact that it's not so small also, this one is bigger because I have noticed that when I have smaller bracelets, they tend to get cluttered together. A couple of random things that I purchased from drugstore. I got this Catrice lipstick. Uh, I don't have it on my lips today, but I have the liner that is from the same line. Those are limited edition. And this lipstick from L'Oreal that I have it on. You have a doe foot applicator. I think those were popular. And this dries out matte. Now I'm going to show you the makeup that I got from Kiko Milano. Then I will go back to the drugstore because I want to show you some things. So I got uh, on, so we went on a Canarian Iceland called Tenerife. And I was very, very fortunate to find a Kiko Milano store over there. I also took some uh, footage inside and outside of the store. They have lovely products and I got products for me and also for my girlfriend so what I got for me I got four of their long-lasting eyeshadow sticks 24 hours no transfer three of them I take them out I just kept one to show you the packaging those rival to the one from ones from Bobby Brown so I have the shade 25 is this minty green you can also see the shade on the back of the liner then I have this shade, which is shade 04, sorry, 08. I can open it to show it to me. They are retractable or automatic. And let's see how much product you get. So this is a lot. The next shade, it's a gorgeous amethyst shade. It's shade number 14 and the shade from the Bottom, it's shade number 11. This was my friend, one of my friend shades. She saw it last year in Milano and she wasn't able to find it. Only the tester was in the store. Getting back to the drugstore, I was trying to get a um, cleansing balm because unfortunately my uh, elf order went cancelled. Long story short, I was not able to purchase the 
OG cleansing balm from e.l.f. So I went to drugstore and I purchased this one from CeraVe. Hydrating foaming oil cleanser for normal to very dry skin. Also suitable for baby and atopic prone skin. When I came home and tried it, I realized that this is not a cleansing balm, like a melting oil, or you just put water and together with water it will foam up. So it's the second step. It's not the one that removes your makeup. And then I wanted to place an online order, but it was too late to order it from Stylevana. So I went to Roseman and I got the Beauty of Joseon Radiance Cleansing Balm. And this is fantastic. I wanted to test it to show you what it removes the makeup, but I have one more product to show you from Kiko Milano. Sorry for this all over the place haul. So I have this liner, which I thought it's very, very interesting. Three in one eyeliner. So you have the dark shade here, in this case, black. So you just twist it and a bit of a tip comes out. Now I don't want to twist it up too much because you cannot take it back. And this is here. Then you have the second shade, which is like a plum. And this is swatched here. I have it on my waterline. And the third shade, which is like a highlight, or you can do multiple things with it. Even you can go to the Cupid bows and highlight them if you want. So this is a lovely light pink shade. So all of them are twistable, retractable. But once you retract them, oh, and also don't try to push them. <laughs> on the wrong side of the packaging. So once you open them, you have to use twist. After you twist, you use them. And now I can finally demonstrate the magic of this beauty of Joseon cleansing balm, which is not the first time when I have it. So uh, look how much I've used already because I had it for a few weeks before leaving. So it's also coming with a scoop and it melts away everything. This is, look, I swatch it in the hole, so it's not coming off. It's almost gone. So now I'm going to rinse with a tissue. Later I will wash it. So that's the reason I also want to wash or to clean my hand. Oh, the liquid lipstick, it stains. So that's even wonderful because I have a gloss on top. Last thing that I purchased from uh, Roseman was the L'Oreal Revitalift Clinical SPF 50 plus UVA UVB sunscreen. So you can tell already how much I have used. It's in a squeezy tube. You can see tinted moisturizers that have the same uh, packaging and it's just absolutely amazing. I have noticed that no matter how much SPF I have been wearing while I went to a beach vacation, by the end of my vacation, I could say that I have this coloration. But this is the second year when I'm wearing this and my skin looks wonderful. It has protected me like no one else. Maybe I got some color, but anyway, if even if you bronze, you will bronze wonderfully and it protects and I don't have any burnout and any patches whatsoever. So I highly recommend it if you have the same situation like me and you are not protected with any other SPF 50, try this one from L'Oreal. It's also lightweight underneath makeup. This is what I have on today. The last uh, few products that I bought from Kiko Milano, I got this dual ended stick. You have contour and highlighter. And now to the lip products from Kiko Milano. So I got this gloss that I have it on today. 3D Hydra Lip Gloss in the shade number 17. I love it. It's very hydrating. They have a lot of shades. I will also include a picture with all the shades from the store because I was taking that picture for my girlfriends. I got them a few products. I'm only going to show them. I'm not going to test them. So first is the liner number 11. I also got one. Let me open it to show that I have two. And I got three lipsticks. Those are two in one. You have the lipstick here 
and then you have the clear gloss i have i think this shade also in my stash i will double check i'm not sure my shade it's 119 but i will show you what it looks like because i don't want to open my friend packaging but one thing i was not such a big fan was the brush applicator it's short and stiff so for my friends i got number 118 which is like a orchid shade 120 i think i have swatches if i did not delete it from uh, the phone i will insert them and the shade 112 118 120 and 112 and mine is 119 as a reference if you are thinking to purchase some of these i highly recommend them because they are very long lasting and with the gloss on top you can refresh and hydrate your lips a lovely product i purchased from tenerife is this very good girl by carolina herrera or herrera and i got the 30 ml this has a opening with a lychee i never had a actual lychee perfume and it smells delicious now the only thing is that when you get the smaller size the 30 ml the spray doesn't come out directly through the part of the shoe so you have to take it out and spray it like so i thought it's also nice but the 50 and larger size you can spray out directly through the shoe it has a mechanism here but yeah other than that i think it's lovely i went with 30 ml because i have a lot of perfumes and i will not have time to get through them every year when i traveled to vacation especially to canarian iceland i purchased a perfume last year i got the one from um by, no, by Thierry, Thierry Mugler, and i have even perfumes that I purchased in 2011, you can imagine. I don't believe that I ever showed you those perfumes, so first time I got the Bulgari Jasmine Noir. This is how much I have left. Then in 2012 uh, or 13, I got the Rosa from Tous. Actually, this was from Gran Canaria. This was lovely. I just cherish that I have left wonderful perfume and last year from lanzarote i got the little alien by mugle look how much i still have no sorry like this if you know me you know that i keep my at least the most expensive and lovely perfumes in the original packaging and i also heard that by preserving those in the original packaging the actual formula of the perfume won't go bad I'm going to clean everything here and come back for the second part of the hole.